it's going down. All right, Shalom Wong. First and foremost, giving all praises, honor, glory, respect, and blessings to Yahweh Bashon, Yahweh Shai, Bashon Racha Kwadash. Salutations to the Lord's elect on the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth in sincerity while patiently waiting for Yahweh Shai's return. And as always, I would like to give double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone which have taught us everything we know through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashom Yahweh Shai. And welcome to another series of It's Going Down, being brought to you by the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashom Yahweh Shai. Global economy and violent shocks ahead. This is coming from an economist. The coming recession will lead to a profound, which the, when you look up the word profound, the word profound means deep, very deep. Okay. So the coming recession will lead to a very deep structural shift. Muhammad L. Iran says. And I don't know why they keep saying that we're heading into a re into a recession when we've been in, in a recession. We're in a recession right now. Okay? In order to understand what a recession is, a re a recession is when a recession starts with a country's GDP going down. The word uh, GDP is an acronym for gross domestic production. When a country's grow, which a, a gross domestic production is basically the amount of money the country makes from from these different corporations, businesses, etc. Right. So there's been a lot of businesses and corporations here in America that have been closing down. Which means what? The more businesses and corporations that close down or go overseas, the less money America makes. So, there's been a lot of businesses and major corporations closing down. Furthermore, a recession is also when a country is going through an unemployment rate. Now, the unemployment rate here in America is high. And a matter of fact, let me see. Uh, let's, let's go over here to Google, right? Now, they're probably going to lie. But let's see. What is the unemployment? Unemployed. Un, oh, unemployment. Unemployment. What is the unemployment rate in America? Yes. Okay. So it says here, look at that. There there are six point one million people unemployed in America. That's a lot. And I'm pretty sure it's much higher than that. So when a country is going through a high unemployment rate, which 3.7%, that's pretty high if you ask me. I'm pretty sure it's much higher than that. But when a country is going through a, a, a look at that, you see that? That was in March. Look at that. 10%. 10%. And guess what? Things have not got, things have not gotten better since 2020. So... When a, when, 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 when a country is going through high unemployment rate, guess what? That's where you get a recession. The less people that's working in the wor workforce, the more likely businesses are to close down. And when businesses, when businesses close down, what happens? Now the country is not making money. The government is not making money. 
and that's where you get a recession from so I don't know what they're talking about when they say we are entering into a recession which they're probably lying when they say 6.1 million people I'm pretty sure it's way higher than that but um yeah we are in a recession point blank period the coming recession will lead to a profound structural shift Mahoma L. Iran says there's a tendency to see economic changes which a recession is also um um de destabili de stabili de stability there we go de stability right of an economy you also get a recession when your economy is consuming more than producing okay when when a economy consumes more than what it produce that's a recession so this country is definitely in a recession america is the number one consumer country on the planet and that's a fact there's a tendency to see economic changes as temporary and quickly reversible but this time the world is headed for a deep economic and financial shift rather than just another recession Mohammed El Arian or Arian and now I believe there's Arian has warned El El Arian is the chief economic advisor this is coming from a chief economic advisor at the Alliance and former CEO of the influential bond market what the what why are you excuse me Satan is at work here. I'm about to close this out. Okay. Al Arian is the chief economic advisor at the uh, Alliance and former CEO of the influential bond market player PIMCO. P I M C O. It says. The economist wrote in a commentary for Foreign Affairs magazine that a combination of pressure on supply, central bank, central bank tightening, and market fragility were all likely to weigh on growth. Three new trends in particular hint at such a transformation are likely to play an important role in shaping economic outcomes over the next few years uh, excuse me one moment brothers uh, okay let me see uh, just a moment So like I was saying, the shift from the insufficient demand to insufficient supply as a major multi-year drag on growth, the end of boundless liquidity from central banks and increasing fragility of financial markets, L. Arian wrote. It says, these shifts help explain many of the unusual economic developments of the last few years and they are likely to drive even more uncertainty in the future as shocks grow more frequent and more violent he believes man this 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 kingdom is done for the changes will affect individuals companies and governments economically socially and politically the economist warned l arian criticized the United States Federal Reserve in particular for being too slow to recognize inflations. No, it's not that the United States is being too slow to 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 um, recognize inflations. This is purposely being done. You see? This is all being systematically done. This is all being done by the so-called elites. Okay? The so-called elites 
the, the, the uh, Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, which have control over the whole world, they're the ones orchestrating all this. But guess what? The Heavenly Father, Yahweh, through his son, Yahweh Shah, is controlling them, making them do what they do. Why? To fulfill prophecy. So it says, L. Arian criticized the United States Federal Reserve in particular for being too slow to recognize inflation's destructive impact on the economy and then for its, its steep rate hikes to make up for lost time. Then if we read right here. He also said that markets have been trained to expect easy money from central banks and the perverse effect has been for a significant chunk of global financial activity to flood into asset management, private equity and hedge funds among other less regulated entities. Lord's will I was able to keep you brothers informed through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashom Yahweh Shai. With that, I'm going to say Shalom. It's on to the next one.